Good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Danielle Noyce here for the One Degree Outside Weather Network with your noises, notes, and forecasts for today. Lots to get to, so we'll dive right in. Oppressive humidity by this afternoon. If you head out this morning, you're going to notice that it is a little more humid. Those dew points continue to rise into the 70s, so a truly tropical air mass that comes in, and that will fuel periodic showers and downpours when it rains and pours today because there's just so much moisture that's moving in. Now, localized flooding and the severe weather threat is highest in western New England. We're going to talk more about that coming up. Of course, this all with Debbie's remnant moisture that's going to swing through. So predicted dew point, notice it goes up. So through the afternoon, evening, and into overnight tonight, it's in the 70s. Look at that drier air, though, even by tomorrow morning. Yes, it's humid when you wake up, but already in upstate New York, dew points will be dropping through the 60s and 50s. So the drier air is going to return. We turn noticeably less humid throughout the course of the day tomorrow. So that humidity fuels, again, and some scattered showers and downpours in central eastern New England. Notice they're kind of periodic, right? They crop up and then they keep on moving off to the north and east. In fact, from lunchtime into the early afternoon, I don't think there's going to be a ton of action in far eastern New England. Yes, you may get an isolated downpour here and there, but most of the steadiest downpours will be focused in western New England during the afternoon and into the evening. Notice the deeper oranges in here. So they do shift from western Connecticut in through western New England, in through Vermont, in through northern New Hampshire. After about 6 p.m., that's when the heaviest axis of rain coming out of eastern New York is going to shift through. And that will come through from west to east during the evening and overnight tonight. So that by tomorrow morning, most of us are actually going to be drying out. There'll be some leftover downpours from down east Maine to Cape Cod in the morning hours tomorrow. And then by midday, that's shifting offshore too with clearing that comes in. So how much rain? Don't focus on the exact numbers here, but this gives a really good picture of what's going to be happening. And that means far eastern New England, we have the lowest rainfall totals. Now, because there's just so much moisture, one city or town could get a quick inch of rain Someone right next door could have, you know, less than a tenth in spots. So that's kind of what I want you to take home from this graphic. Notice the greens, though, in western New England and the yellows that pop up. One to two inches, and then there's an axis of three to six. But that's generally just to our west in upstate New York, stretching down through portions of Pennsylvania. So will there be some amounts that may top out two, three inches in portions of western New England? Yes, but the bottom line is it will be highly variable rainfall amounts because of the tropical nature of this system coming in. So predicted wind gusts, let's talk about that. Not overly concerned with the wind, although by later on this afternoon, we get some gusts that go to 35, 40 miles per hour along the south coast of Connecticut. And then you see these little blotches show up across central and northern Vermont too, where we actually have a wind advisory in effect. We may see some gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour through the afternoon and evening. Rest of us gusts are on the order of about 20 to 30 miles per hour, though we may get some coastal gusts on Maine overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning that top out around 40 miles per hour too. Here's by tomorrow morning. Notice the wind will have subsided at that point. So let's talk about the flood threat. You saw those rainfall totals. The risk is slight to moderate, which has shifted just farther to the west compared to this time yesterday when we talked. So we're talking about at least the highest flood threat to our west. That being said, localized flash flooding potential will be a risk, obviously, in any of these downpours that kind of sit over the same areas. Severe weather threat, few to isolated. We're talking about, you know, maybe some storms that start to pop up, during the afternoon and evening hours especially. So the highest risk is right along that border of Western New England from Albany stretching back down to Philly through New York City. But most of us here in New England, it's an isolated risk, highest in Western New England. Tornado threat is actually, look at the percentage here, only 2% in portions of Western New England. It's not zero though, right? So a lot of times in these systems, we can see these little spin-ups, these weak spin-ups that occur and some rotation in some of the downpours because it's just so tropical, because it's Debbie, Debbie's remnant. So be mindful of that in Western New England. There may be some rotation in any thunderstorms this evening. I think that threat is greatest between about 8 p.m. and midnight. And of course, we'll bring you any updates as warranted. Highs today will be in the 70s. We may touch 80 in a few spots in Southwestern New England. 70s for most of us across Northern New England as well. Really humid, low clouds hanging tough as well. 60s actually for most of us across Maine. Overnight tonight, we'll be in the 70s in most areas. 60s, though, 
from Western New England into far Northern New England, as actually we start to dry things out in Western New England earliest as that axis of heaviest rain shifts through. So there's a lot to watch today, of course. We'll keep you posted on all of it. Have the app on standby and ready, particularly this evening and into the first part of the overnight in Western New England. If you haven't downloaded it yet, it's free on the App Store, Google Play, and on our website. We'll bring you any updates live as warranted through the evening hours especially. And of course, we'll take you through the weekend forecast and into the start of next week in our insights video coming up in just a bit.